Visual navigation is a new system to the DJI Phantom 4, otherwise known as the obstacle avoidance system. So what we have is two cameras used in stereo facing forwards. So using stereo, they're a little bit like the human eyes. We're using them to judge the distance of an object away from us. So really it's there to say, hey, if we get too close to an object, the aircraft's going to stop so we don't run into that. So the system works really well. A couple of limitations, the cameras only look forward, so there's no protection sideways or backwards. Uh, the, the cameras won't work very well in low light, and obviously it'll depend on the size of the object as well. Tree branches will be very easy to avoid. Uh, tree leaves might not be so easy to avoid, so we still have to be reasonably cautious flying the aircraft around. You'll notice one change on the main screen. We can see here, it's what DJI calls as a radar chart. Realistically, it's not radar because we use cameras, but it's a distance from an objects chart. So we can see that we've got a, an object away from the aircraft at the moment of 0.5 of a meter. So that remains on the screen if you have that enabled, and it'll tell you the closest object facing forwards. Now to get into the settings for this visual navigation system, uh, it's a little dot with the three lines coming out of it in the top bar. So we can click on that, or again, we can go in through the three dots at the top right hand side of the top bar. Coming on that, we get into the settings. So first of all, we can turn the visual navigation system on or off. Um, next one down is in regards to how we want to use this visual navigation system while we're in some auto flight. So there's um, a function called tap fly where we can tap on the screen to get the aircraft to fly where we want it to go. And there's another one called active track where the aircraft will follow an object. So within these two, We've got enable horizontal obstacle avoidance in tap fly, which means that if there's an obstacle between A and B, as you're using tap fly, the aircraft will move horizontally until the object isn't there anymore, and then continue to where you wanted the aircraft to go. In active track, uh, we can enable backwards flying, so that means that we're not going to be offered any obstacle protection while the aircraft's flying backwards. So it's confirming that we're happy for the aircraft to fly backwards in active track, and also if we wanted to activate avoidance, object avoidance in active track, where the aircraft's again going to move horizontally until the object is removed, and then it'll continue to follow the object as you've programmed. Next one down in the settings menu here, we have display radar, radar chart. As we mentioned, it wasn't really radar. It's a distance from an object's chart, so that'll come up on your main screen. Then we've got our advanced settings, which are pretty simple settings here. One is the Enable Vision Positioning, which is our, our system from our Phantom 3. Uh, so we had our downwards facing ultrasonic sensor and the monocular camera, which helped us with um, descents and hovering in terms of height and also positioning when we didn't have uh, access to GPS. And the last one there is the Return to Home Obstacle Check. So within the Return to Home algorithm, if an object is seen, the aircraft will climb above that object and continue home. So that's the settings for the visual navigation system in the DJI GO 4 app.